B16 on topic right now. Short turn needs a little bit of smoothing out. Just a little bit, you know. As well as the long turn or the... We use an 80 grit and a 120 grit cartridge roll in case anyone wonders. Okay, we're gonna try to draw the cross section of an intake port just to be able to identify all the things that we want to share about you know we're doing the seat right now it has to be on both sides of course and then the short turn with a little bit of core shift so that you know you would know what to look for on certain heads that would need more cleanup than the than others you know okay so that's the short turn. Now we're going to do the long turn or the opposite side with a bit of core shift. There. And that's the cross section of an intake port. Or at least I'm trying to show it like that, you know. And so what you can do with a cartridge roll is do a slight cleanup by doing this, you know, but by doing uh stuff like this to clean it up to remove the <clears throat> to lessen the core shift this would improve port efficiency which also would which which would mean more torque and more power more torque and more power potential you know so let's go let's do this like this and so when you look at it the short turn is looks more consistent in transitioning from the turns this would promote better uh improved port efficiency you know now we can do the long turn that this part this core shift is always going to be so tempting to just swipe it off with a carbide you know so it looks good so or so or so everything is shiny <clears throat> but by doing so, we'll, 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 we'll try to show you this one. We'll try to smooth it out so that it's visually appealing. So we're gonna try it here now. We're gonna try to smooth it out. <clears throat> so imagine if we swipe this, or imagine if we grind this off just to like to make it all look smooth. And so you know, visually it look like it's like, oh wow, it's ported. You know, oh wow, it's a ported head. You know. But notice now, the cross section has been significantly larger. That would mean you lose a lot of airspeed. In turn, that's lost torque. After achieving what we previously discussed, notice the bowl, the short side, and even the sides of the port. It's very consistent as far as transitioning towards the bend. We have slightly widened the short turn as it has the most airspeed to sort of equalize the delta of airspeed between the short turn and the long turn radius. This way, it's more efficient. While we're at it, we decided to fluff and buff the whole port, starting with 80 grit and then finishing it off with 120 grit. Now it's better than just the Type R porting. Yay!